Well, hey guys, good morning. Today, I have another order came in from KC Tool, and this order actually is some things from their Black Friday sale. And if you happen to catch that this year, it was the Wera set. So we're gonna check out what comes in the Wera. I believe it's called the Metal Workers set or something like that. We're gonna see it here in just a second, but you will already have known that from the title of this video. Okay, so this is a set that I've looked at a couple times, the heavy metal set. So, got that a little bit wrong, but yes, this is the Vera heavy, heavy metal screwdriver set. And that is what it comes looking like right there in that box. So if you ordered one of these on that day, you can see here on the back, they also illustrate it's got the laser tips and everything that I really like. But one of the neat things in here that's hard to get anywhere else is that little, let's see if I can show you again, this little bottle opener thing here. And some of us that are actually kind of, I don't know if we're somewhere between, we buy our Vera tools because we really love Vera and we're just totally collectors, but I absolutely love my Vera tools and I buy quite a bit of them, especially if there's something unique like this. Now, when they run a sale like that, you can see I got two of these. One of these I'm not going to open or anything. It's just going to go on my shelf. Some of this stuff is eventually going to make neat giveaways for the channel, or I end up giving it away to my helpers, people I know that love tools too. That's just kind of something I like to do. So let's dig into this and see what you get in the Wera Craftform Heavy Metal 3. This is a seven piece set, it says pop this right open and see what we got today. Did you guys get any good tool deals over Black Friday? I know they're kind of getting where they're kind of rare these days. There's nothing that's really a deal anymore. So when you open this, you're going to get one of the normal Wera screwdriver holders. And this is one that is kind of bi-directional. If you have their micro drivers, they will sit in here vertically right on this side. But if you flip this over, you can see these holes here in this side, you can actually hang this on the wall with these two screw points and your full size drivers go in here, which would be what you'd be doing with this set. It does have seven holes in that set there. And they come just in a normal little white box, of course, inside the nice fancy one. So let's go ahead and pop this open. And that is how they're gonna come, just right there in the box. It looks like their little bottle opener deal is going to come in its own little tiny box. And that is not very big at all. It has their little tool rebels on it. Kind of neat. I've not seen one come like that before. So let's go ahead and pop that open right to start with. Yeah, there you go. Neat little bottle opener. If you're into those special edition little Vera things, you can see it's a hand with the fingers kind of crossed right here in the back. Got the two fingers up. Really neat little deal. Has a keychain on it. These are neat things to just like hang on the side of your veto bag or whatever. Just cool stuff. Some of us are into cool, into tools on a whole lot of different levels. That would that would obviously be me. So to get into what this is, it's kind of like an assortment of their drivers. You get two of their chisel drivers, which are their strike top drivers. Here you can see the steel caps right here on top of them and they're both slotted or flatheads, whatever you like to call them. And they have the bolster here where you can actually put a wrench on it. It is a six sided bolster. So you can go ahead, you know, if you have like your, your pliers wrench or something like that, and you needed to, it will fit right on that bolster just like that. So any little wrench like that will work. Two different sizes here, let's see. This is the one two by seven and the one zero by five. This one is 100 millimeter and 125 millimeter. So a couple of nice, these are probably a couple of the most used sizes of the chisel drivers. So that's nice that that's the ones you get. Too many times in a kit, sometimes you don't get the sizes that you actually use. So it's nice to see that they did that in here. Now the two Phillips drivers are also nice sizes that we use a lot. It's gonna be the Phillips one, and it should be a Phillips two. And of course the one is an 80 millimeter, the two is a 100 millimeter, and both of them have the laser etching there in the tip. If you can see that, you have laser etching right there in the tips of these drivers, both of them. 
there's not any shortcuts here where maybe the one doesn't have it. They both have the laser tips on them. These really help when you get into a screw that has a head that maybe worn or anything like that the laser tip will grip it a whole lot better you can look around see videos where i've covered this before but you can actually stick this in a screw even if it's not magnetic once you've turned it a little bit in that screw this thing will grip so hard it will just hold the screw on the tip so they're kind of a neat design right there then we'll get here into the insulated versions and that is going to be a 0.6 by 3.5 for the insulated and it is the slim insulation on both of these right here so if you look you can see this insulation is no thicker than the actual screwdriver head for me that's a big deal when i first started getting insulated drivers i didn't know any better and i just ordered normal insulated drivers and the plastic here the insulation is actually thicker than the tip now when you get into a situation where your screw is down in a in a spot you've got something right next to it, you can end up really tearing up your insulation. Vera makes that type. Knipex makes some that are very similar to that too. So just be sure you're getting a slim blade on these whenever you get them. So if you do, then you can avoid all those problems with tearing up your insulation and ending up with a really raggedy looking screwdriver. Not to mention, I don't know how, how long you can maintain the qualification for insulated if you start really tearing up the insulation on these. So this is a nice little set of two. You maybe could use a slightly bigger slotted with this. Now, the Phillips side of this is a Phillips S, and I want to see what that is because it looks completely different. It's They are extra slim blades is actually what they call them. But this one has a head on it that is significantly different, and it's not a posi drive head. I don't know if you'll be able to see that right there. But this has hips on two sides and not on the other two. So I'm very curious how this how this fits our stuff, but it is definitely an intentional design. So I did not look into that. So that is a completely different looking tip there. If you know something about it, feel free to let me know down below. Because I have not seen a tip just like that before. And they actually give you the one you need, a number two Robertson square drive, whatever you like to call it. This is the night nice, you can tell immediately because they put the gray in the handle right here. I have some others of this driver that have come in other kits and they all look just like that. So it makes it easy when you reach down in your bag to just know what you're grabbing. And these are all marked pretty clearly other than the chisel drivers, obviously, since they have steel on the top, just show you guys how they mark the tops of all these drivers. So when you look down in your bag, you know what size and type of driver that you're actually grabbing. So you can see right here, it has the big square drive on it and the number two next to it. On your normal Phillips ones, you just have that big circled one, big circled two. And on your slotted, it will just have a number like three, five. And on this Phillips, you can see Phillips and this is an S2. And you can see it's a totally different style marking there as well. So this is a completely different driver. I have something new to research today. How cool is that? So anyway, that is the set from there. And if you're into their little stickers, you do get a nice Veritool Rebel sticker right there in the box as well. So just a neat little kit there. I really love grabbing stuff like that. It makes great gifts. They're handy for me because when you get a set like this, this is almost a set that you could recommend for somebody who's just starting to fill out a tool bag. Be other than the one insulated kind of off driver here, I have to see how that actually fits in a normal number two. I, I don't I don't really know. It seems to fit fine, to be honest. If you can see there, there's there's it fitting into a screw, and it fits just fine. It just has has these little hips on it on two sides that are kind of kind of unique. So anyway, maybe that's just fine. We'll have to see how it works out, but they don't do it on their normal Phillips driver, so there's definitely something new there. But this is a neat little set if you're just getting started. In my opinion right there, that little set of drivers could go in your everyday carry bag and have you pretty well covered for most things that you have to get into. Everything from your chisel drivers to your normal nice laser laser tips. The only there's really nothing else you'd need to add because your your larger flat slotted drive 
is made up for with the chisel drivers. So you kind of have everything you need. So just a neat little starter kit of screwdrivers there. I know we do a lot of screwdrivers, but don't we all? I'd be a little scared to get the whole collection of drivers out all at once. <laughs> anyway, I'm sure a lot of you guys are the same way, but thank you guys for being here. We'll see you guys on the next one.